Irish scholar faked madness and was imprisoned for life. And from that darkness, he uncovered the laws of light that shaped modern science. It's the 10th century. The Nile is flooding villages and destroying harvests. A scholar from Basra claims he can stop the disaster. A powerful ruler summons him. He reaches Egypt, studies the river, and realizes the truth. The Nile cannot be controlled. Failure means death, so he fakes insanity. Doctors declare him mad. The ruler spares him, but throws him into darkness. In that darkness, a single beam slips through a crack. It casts a perfect upside-down image on the wall. He observes it. The first controlled camera obscure experiment in history. Night after night, he studies light itself. And when the ruler dies, he walks free, carrying seven volumes that transform optics. How the eye sees, how light travels, how mirrors and lenses reshape images, and something even greater, a method. Observe, test, measure, repeat. The world's first complete system of experimental science. And the prisoner who turned a dungeon into the birthplace of modern physics was Ibn al-Haytham.